Requiesca in pace. I know. I know where that bastard is going. San Pietro. The pavilion in the courtyard. Thank you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's good karma right there for uh, not killing Lucrezia. But let's go hunt down Cesare. Shouldn't be a problem. He's ingested poison, so he should be weak. Or not. Assassino! Cancel. I will come for you later. I'm disappointed, Cesare. Very disappointed. Escaping from a locked room was the first thing I learned. It didn't kill Ezio Auditore. Did you really think it would kill me? I have slain countless amounts of men, most of them being yours. But you, Cesare, are just a man. The head of the papal armies. And the head of the papal armies means no more to me than the head of drunken idiots. So, it's a race to the Apple of Eden. Although it's not really a hard race because you pretty much have shortcuts on your hands. But what's really painful about this full sink is that you cannot kill anybody. Now, oh yeah, by the way, as soon as you um, get out of conflict, it, people automatically detect you. It's how this, how they have this part of the game coded. You're constantly detected. Like I said, you can't kill anybody, but at least you don't have to take damage. Oh, wow. Screw you, buddy. Can't use assassin recruits to help you out. Even if you could, that would fuck up the full synchronization because, um, that's just stupid. You know what? I don't take kindly to that. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we should be good there. They should not follow us in here because that's how it goes. I don't know why there were papal guards there. There shouldn't have been papal guards at that spot, but whatever. Anyway, the whole uh, killing Rodrigo Borgia thing, that's, um, yeah. That's why Ezio did not kill Rodrigo Borgia back at the vault, because it would anachronize with uh, the dinner with Rodrigo and Cesare, although the history books don't say that's how it happened, but, you know, history tends to leave out details. And plus it's Assassin's Creed, it's not entirely true, you know. But, let's take this apple. Yeah. You! Looking for this. It ends now, assassino. My sword will take your life. Guard! Alright, do not lose any health. Welcome to the last full synchronization. And uh, this one's a real toughie. I'm not even sure I'll be able to do this on the first try because I haven't practiced this in a while. But the idea is to not take jam damage. Luckily, this whole army of guards does not have agiles. But you do have to be on the lookout for on the way. There are agiles and there are papal guards and they will catch up to you and hurt you. Plus, there's also the rooftops you have to be wary of because of uh, freaking guards that will shoot you. And uh, while you're holding the Apple of Eden, you cannot switch to any weapons. You can't even use your smoke bombs. Which is not fun. But, 
if you have a good route etched out and a good idea of how this is supposed to go. You should uh, be able to do this with relative ease, to be honest. But, uh, this is a familiar road we're running, right? Almost familiar. I didn't do it exactly the way, uh... Oh, no! No! No. Nope. Familiar. Familiarity. That does it. But yes, Rodrigo Borgia dying in 1503 at the dinner with Cesare. Both of them have been poisoned. Rodrigo is dead, but Cesare lives through the poison. That's how history tells the story, that is. Rodrigo Borgia is dead. And Cesare? Poisoned, but alive. We must not allow him to assemble his remaining supporters. The coming weeks are critical. With your aid, I will hunt him down. My men will patrol the city, but we might need an army. We have one. Alright, time to try out the piece of Eden. What do you guys think? I think it's worth it. If this loading screen will load. Hello, people. Do you like my uh, giant glowing piece of metal? It's only about half a pound. Did you know that? It's pretty weird. It's made out of uh, so much metal material, but it's so light to carry. They are everywhere and nowhere at once. I do not care how we do it. We cannot on our own, signore. You must help us. I am ill, you idiot! Micheletto will soon be here with my armies, and then you will see how quickly the Assassini fall. <clears throat> you delude yourself, Cesare. God! Cesare, you've been poisoned for a whole night. Get over it. Yeah, that's how the piece of Eden works. There is a yellow ring and there is a white ring. The white ring kills enemies that are ensnared in it. The yellow ring turns uh, the soldiers against each other. And it takes up health, so you have to be careful with it. Because bullshit like that will happen. Just gotta kill all the targets, that's all. That's all I'm aiming for. Oh man. I keep on forgetting how much health I have. But yeah, health regenerates fast when you're using the Apple of Eden. You know what? I'm getting sick and tired of you freaking crossbow men. You die with mind bullets. But. Enough dicking around, it's this guy who I need to kill, in order to get the mission rolling. Demilitarization. Quite the opposite of militarization.